Hi guys, it's Sam. So today is a get ready with me, but it's also a spend the day with me. So you're gonna be able to see me getting ready for my day. And then I'm taking you along on my day with me. So it's a bit of a vlog and a makeup tutorial all in one. I hope you guys enjoy. I did not film an intro this morning because I was running late and I didn't have time. Um, so it's the end of the night now, but I'm filming my intro now. But I hope that you guys have fun watching this video. You get to see a little bit of everything. And I'm going to link everything down below that I did use for the tutorial and anything I mentioned in the video will be linked down below. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and let's go ahead and get started. I am going to take my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I usually do two pumps of this. It's very sticky. I just take it all over my face. So I kind of give it a waft because it is so sticky. You don't want to go on top of it with something right away. I'm going to go ahead and take the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. Pretty good, it's very sticky. You kind of have to work fairly quickly with it because it kind of can go white if you're not fast enough. So I just put it in the areas that I have, usually where like I tend to collect all over here. This is where you smile. I'm gonna go up here because I'm really, my forehead is like the shiniest part of me. I feel like the Forehead and the chin for me is the shiniest. Okay, so this is the Ar Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the color 5.5. I really hope it's the right color. I haven't worn this in so long. Oh God, this is quite light. I think I need a darker color. I always used to mix 5.5 with my Estee Lauder. So see how much darker Estee Lauder is? That's my normal color. So I'm just gonna mix the two together. And we're gonna go in with that instead. That color's much better. That other color was like, was straight up like greenish, kind of ashy on me. This is the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener. I need to make sure I'm checking the clock because I am in a rush. Oh, crapper. I might just have to list all of the products down because I'm in a huge rush. My car is broken. So we had an air conditioning problem. And so we took it into the Cadillac dealership and they fixed the air conditioning, but air conditioning just stopped working completely. And then they fixed the air conditioning, but now we have a heater problem. So the heater is so loud when it blows. This is the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer in Fair. Like, like this, like what the heck, man? So I've just been having to either like freeze in my car or listen to a super annoying sound. So it's really annoying. Like, and then also they're like, oh yeah, your, your shocks were bad or something like this. I don't know anything about cars. They said your shocks were bad. So we redid the, the shock. And now when I go uh, like off my driveway, I like I'm literally feeling hair. Um, it literally is like so clunky. It's like, you know, instead of just like going back, it's like makes a real squeaky noise or something. I don't know, something's wrong. Taking it back today. So we have to take two cars and then drop it off and then go pick it back up. And hopefully they can fix whatever is wrong with it. This is when I immediately go in with my sponge, or I'm sorry, my puff. I love these little black puffs, they're so good. And I just take whatever powder is left from the day before, and I just fill it in right here, where my makeup wants to collect right away. And it's not a whole lot of powder, it's just like whatever is left on the puff. Now I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Celestial Light. <clears throat> I'm gonna take that. And I take it right underneath my eye. It really helps to brighten up the whole eye area. And I haven't found, it's a very fine powder, so it's not gonna I mean, my under eyes are not my worst part of me, my lower face is. So my under eyes are not bad. I don't find that it collects or enhances fine lines and wrinkles, but my under eyes are not my problem area, so 
you might if you have like really bad under eyes maybe not want to try that i don't know you could try it and see but i can because my under eyes are fine i'm going to take the glow skin beauty this is in the color sunlight bronze And I like this one because it's, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, my voice is so crap. You guys remember that horrible cough I couldn't get rid of? My voice has not been the same since. It's literally just crummy for life. And then I get a little tiny brush and I just go right there. So today I'm going to take the extra dimension um, blush, I can't even say what I'm saying, into the pink. This is from MAC. And we're just going to pop that right on the cheeks. This is really pretty because it puts down like a really pretty glow. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the ColourPop Around the World. And this is just gonna add a little bit more of like that candy pink. Okay, this is where I will always tap and make sure I have no lines. This is new and it's actually really pretty. It's the Lush emotional brilliance translucent face powder and it's like really glowy so what i've been doing is baking with it underneath my eyes or kind of like more like just setting underneath my eyes with it first so i just get it on my puff and i go right here and do you see how glowy it is it's super duper glowy so I just kind of press that in just underneath my eyes and it is so radiant. It's just so pretty and it's very smoothing. I could not use this on my whole face because it's a bit glowy for that. So I just kind of pat that in. So we're kind of more setting with that versus the baking. And that's the only place I put it. And then I go in with my Givenchy. And I'm almost out of it. And it's so expensive. I don't know why I didn't buy it in the sale. What a dink. So now with that same puff, I'm going to go ahead and bake now. So I'm going to go right down the sides of my nose. Just like that. And whatever is left on the puff, I'll take it down into the nose crevice, upper lip, and I press really hard down here so that I really like work it in and I'm just pressing, no swiping, just pressing into the skin. Then I go up on the cheeks as well because I have a lot of scars. And this really helps to blur everything and just make your face look face tuned. It's just amazing what a little powder can, <laughs> a little. <laughs> but the nice thing, I mean, for me especially, I'm so oily that I can put on so much powder and I will never ever look powdery because within an hour, I mean, it doesn't look powdery right away anyway, but even if it did, within an hour, my face would be oily. So I can get away with wearing a lot of powder and it's fine. Then I'm going to have to shake and get a little bit more powder. You can do it. You know it's good when you run out of an entire thing of powder. That's how much I love it. Then I'll bake. And for me, this really helps to like lift my face and give me like really good lines. Thank you. 
Sorry, I'm just looking in the mirror because I can't see what I'm doing. The lips, we're just going to do pillow talk. Then I'm going to take Bare Pout 010 from Flower Beauty. I'm going to hit that right in the center. And then I like to blend it in with my finger. And then today I'm going to go in with the Clarins Lip Comfort Oil in 02 Raspberry. These have a nice big fat one. They smell so good too. So pretty, right? Just adds like a touch of a pinky color. And it smells like literally so yum. It's the Brow Stylist Definer Dark Blonde. And then I go in with the Lift and Snatch. This is in the color Ash Brown. And then I take my <coughs> Grande Brow 2-in-1 Tinted Brow Gel in the color Light. <coughs> also, my voice is super dry, <coughs> so I'll be back. You know, I honestly feel like the worst part of my day is doing my brows. Still filming? Yeah, I'm almost done. Well, you're just saying so many farts. Like, dude, can you just get out of here? <laughs> What's wrong with you? So many farts. <laughs> so many farts. Like, you know I'm filming. You just came in to say you farted. Are you guys all dressed? Okay, I'm gonna take my red Aspen Fulfilled palette and I'm gonna take this color right here, just underneath my brow. Then I'm gonna take this color, this color, and this color into my crease. I'm majorly running out of time now, so we're gonna keep it really freaking quick and simple. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this color and this color underneath my lower lash line. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of this darker color and I'm just gonna kind of smoke this out a little bit. I don't have time for like a proper wing today. So we're just gonna make do with something a little bit smoky, but not intense. Okay, I'm just gonna take the Joa Crystal Glow Jelly Balm Highlighter with my finger, and I'm just gonna press those sparkles right onto my eye. It's a dry powder, so it's super easy to use. This, this angle of me reminds me of E.T. by Katy Perry. I think she looks at the camera like this when she's an alien. Doesn't she? You're an alien. You're such so foreign. Almost just hit my face. Okay, Seals Booster XL. I've literally got five minutes.
Seals Boot, or I'm sorry, Hypnos Drama from Lancome. Okay, now we're gonna brush off the bank. But see how illuminated the under eye is now? Because I used that Lush powder. It's so pretty, it really is, like super duper illuminating. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with that Red Aspen Fulfilled palette. And I'm just gonna take that highlighter color that I put underneath the brow bone right in my inner corner. Especially since I don't have my winged liner, I really wanna like elongate my eyes. I need a drink of water so bad. Ben Nye Super White. <laughs> I'm so in a rush. I'm just gonna put that right underneath. I feel like this is a really important step if you are gonna illuminate underneath the eyes with like illuminating concealers or illuminating powders because you wanna make sure that the last powder you finish off with is matte. That way it's not too ridiculously glowy and this really helps to brighten everything up super duper well. So I always finish off with this and then it's like so bright and beautiful. I'm gonna finish off with Sephora number 29 Fascinated. It's my favorite. Do you ever like do things and then think, why did I just do that? <laughs> like when I said favorite. Seriously, what's wrong with me? So we're just gonna bring the color back to our face. Put a little bit up here. And then a little bit on the nose. I always take my brush and I just kind of whatever's left from the highlight before. I go like this. Then I'm gonna take the Joa little sparkles, add them here. Is this necessary when I'm running late? No, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This is the Queen Glitter Spray. I don't leave the house without it. I'm gonna take my little top knot down. Where is it? Come on, you little dinky. I'm gonna take some of this air dry cream from JVN. I love this stuff and it smells insane. And I'm just gonna take like that much in my hand. And I'm gonna just work this all through my hair. Oh my God, the smell of it. I wish there was smell-o-vision because it smells so Dilly dang good. So I'm just gonna work that all through my hair. And I already put a leave-in conditioner in it. So I'm just basically adding this to help fluff it up a little bit. So see how now it's like looking less wet and drippy. For perfume, I'm gonna wear Victoria's Secret Tees today. I'm spraying in my hair, spray it on my wrists. Okay, I'm done. There's the final look. I'm, I'm not loving the eyes because I didn't get to do all I wanted, but whatever, it's fine. This is when I'm in a rush. The lips are looking lush. Skin looks great. Hair is wet, but I gotta go. This is not what a heater is supposed to sound like. It's so loud, so when I have my heater full blowing, I have to listen to this. So then I have to put it like down super low. Then I don't hear it, but as soon as I go. See? What the heck is that? I never used to do that before. So annoying. Is he riding with us or dad? I think he's with dad. Hold on, I think this is... Shh. 
Station Maker. Ah! I think this is set to Daddy. There we go. I couldn't reach. Oh, loser. Oh, you guys, Jay just ate the last bite, but did you know that at Dunkin' Donuts now, you can get little bags of bacon? It has eight, eight strips of bacon in it and then little hash browns. We came to defy and they're closed. They're closed to one. Well, Dory. Yeah, me too. She was in there. Look, that one's just nibbling away. Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> Mini Dory. Oh, is that a Dory? Yes, a mini one. Oh, look at these ones. These ones? Yeah. Yeah, these are cool. Those are cool. Is there any good ones over here? Oh, look at this tiny little one. Hey, wait, maybe there's a new one on here. The blue one. Look, those are cute. The animals. Whoa. Look at me. <laughs> We're up so high. Technically, I don't think I'm allowed to have my camera up here because they said no use of cell phones. So I'm being a bit, of, I'm being a bit of a rebel. It's okay. It's okay. He won't know. No one's gonna know. Yeah. Which one is your favorite? Um, I don't know. I like the sheep. I don't know. I like the. I kind of like the mountain lion. Yeah, the mountain lion. Yeah. I also really like um the the, the there. Yeah. You guys, Phoenix didn't want to go on here. But now he looks sad. No, he's looking like he regrets his choice. <laughs> no, he's not. Why would he not want to come up here? I don't know. He's scared he's of heights, but like yeah, he's scared of heights, but like so fun. Look, he looks so bored. He's like <sighs> he could be up here having fun. I know. I feel like this is like totally deja vu. <laughs> like, ah! <laughs> they probably just died. Like they died and then they just stuffed them? They didn't kill them to make this? That would be awful if they did. I'm really loving these little red foxes. So much. They are the actual cutest. We're checking out tents. Wow, it's super big. Just get one and put it on our back porch. Yeah, there we go. Have fun in there. How's that one, Lil? Is it little? Yeah. Too small for you? Oh, yeah. It's nice that they have the little benches, though. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Cool. Cool. Hello, my battery died while we were out. The kids had so much fun at the trampoline park. We came home and they are gonna have to keep our car, I don't know how long because something is wrong with one of the modules or something for i don't know i don't even know i don't know anything about cars we stayed up late for new year's eve so we went to bed like well like 1205 but then last night we stayed up super late as well and then i woke up at seven this morning which technically i still got like six hours of sleep but i think you know when you like stay up late consistently um i feel like all of a sudden it's like it's like catching up with me and I'm really tired. So I took like a 20 minute nap and that was not enough at all. I'm trying to figure out if I can put this video in with my get ready with me or if I should make it a separate one. But my battery is dead. I should not have taken a nap. Phoenix is trying to find something to watch. None of his, play his friends are... Are you, can you not play Oculus with your friends, buddy? Are they, are they on? They're not responding. <gasps> there's never any movies to watch, I feel, personally. I feel like there's lots of good shows and stuff for like adults, but there's not a whole lot for like this age to watch. Wouldn't you agree, Fiend Bean? Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, he thinks he can watch stuff, but then I say, sorry, that's inappropriate. I'm gonna start editing this video now that I've got some battery. You guys wanna know a great tip? If you are cooking a lot of meat, you know how like it splatters everywhere, like all the oil and grease is despicable. So I got this little thing, it's by, um, it's the Beautiful by Drew Barrymore from Walmart. And that way, all of the oil does not splatter all over your stove, all over your cabinets. It just cooks right here and then it's like, there's nothing around it, which is really nice. And it literally is so amazing. And I think it's like around maybe 50 or $60. It's not, I'll, I'll link it, but it's, um, it was getting like the stovetop all messy and this is a lifesaver. And Jay does all of his meat cooking in here and you love it, don't you? Oh, I think it's fantastic. Yeah. It's the, it's the best ever. It he cooks, does. And it cooks really, really like well. Like all of too. his steaks and everything. It's, it's even, it's nice, easy to clean. Yeah. And when you clean it, at first I was a bit worried that it was going to like, like mess it up. Like in the pluggy thing. In the pluggy thing. No, I just, I just clean it and dry yeah. it out. It it's great. And it doesn't ever get like messed up. No. Nope. It's awesome. No, and it's very non stick. And I, I, I literally use it all the time. Yeah. So eggs. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Great for eggs. I cook eggs in it. And yeah, it's steak. awesome. I've got some corn on the cob in the air fryer. If you guys have not tried it in the air fryer, I just put olive oil, salt and pepper, stick in the air fryer, 400 degrees. I usually do it for 14 minutes and it's literally so good. I'll show you when it comes out. It's so yummy. See how gorgeous that corn is, you guys, when you do it in the air fryer. It's so good. This is our dinner. We're having soup. Well, the kids are having nuggets. Nuggies. Nuggies and corn and those things tater tots mm. um chicken really upsets my tummy so i'm having hamburger i cannot eat hamburger without tomato and cheese so that's how i'm having it and then i can't i couldn't say no the potatoes i was going to be good but then i thought oh better not i was going to yeah we, we were going to but then i was like you know what how can you say no to a tater tot you guys are gonna say no for like the whole year and then be like all right, 2024. 2024. 2024 is our year. <laughs> hey, Squish, you gonna eat? Come on, you hungry? I know you want to. Squish. This is literally where she goes all day long. She just comes out to eat and pee, and that's it. She does not want to be anywhere else but bed. Are you gonna come? Oh, squish. Don't you want to eat? It's dinner time. Come on, you lazy bones. Come on. They're like, um, I'll eat it. Um, I'll eat it. Okay, guys, it's the end of the night. We had a really good, busy day. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I wanted to do like a get ready with me but also like spend the day with me so it's like get ready and spend the day with me so hopefully you guys enjoyed it it's a little bit of everything um happy new year i hope that you guys all had a fabulous holiday and new year and all that good stuff new year's eve i should say we actually um we stayed up and watched the sydney australia countdown oh my gosh that's the place to go if you guys want to see the most incredible like new year's eve countdown it was so amazing, like the fireworks they put off. They had like all these boats and it was lit up. It was very impressive. We looked at Dubai, we looked at, where, where else? Oh, Paris. We watched like all the different countdowns, but I would say Sydney was the best. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video.